Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Process Modeling Workgroup in, on 12th July. Today, we went over a bit of housekeeping, mm, clarified the uh, insight and action uh, section, what it means under meeting summaries, so that, that we are on the same line when we uh, do the meeting summaries. And then our main topic was, again, to work on this matrix table. Uh, we started the discussion with, again, looking at the columns and differentiating the work group types, because last uh, meeting there was feedback to change that into a process and uh, instead of differentiating the work group themselves. Um, but today we, we did still see that differentiating them has a, uh, as a, like different types would be, still be um, useful. And we basically changed the wording a bit from uh, applying services to workgroup space, pilot work to, to seed workgroup and program stays a program. But we created a new column called description where we kind of pointed out the differentiations of each of these work groups so that when we come back again next time and we see again that something is not working out, then we can look at the descriptions at changed. So we have the context of the types. Uh, and then we also discussed into the goals and how they fit into this uh, work group types. Right now they are separated out from the type, but once we finish the matrix table, we may can come back to this and see if the quilt fits to any of work group types. And if not, this will be a totally different section to describe what is the quilt, what, what are the quilt spaces and what are they for? Um, because they're also part of very, very closely connected to work groups. And yeah, and then we jumped into the, the minimum requirements and our well, main requirement we talked about today was the agreement to work group formation. And we also created a new column for describing what are what are what are the questions we we are even talking about in this requirement. So how many people need to agree on work group formation and which roles can validate work group formation and then filled out the differentials for all. In the next meeting, uh, hopefully there will be more ambassadors to join and then we can see if what we wrote here makes sense and continue with the rest of the requirements. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next call.